really have no business being in this sweater. It's so hot outside, I almost called my ex just so that I could be around something shady. rolling <laughs> I hope you're in the mood for some Halloween finds because there's even some more bags over here there's a lot of new stuff that just came out at Dollar Tree so as always I'm gonna show you guys my favorite items uh, I've actually been waiting for these to show up and they fi finally did they are the oven mitt and pot holder set these are brand new prints too by the way they did not do this last year in 2020 i like how they're doing like this spooky thing but also throwing in this like you know checkered gingham so giving it just a nice spooky farmhouse vibe which honestly has been my theme this year so if you just tune in to my dollar tree hauls i also do decorating uh, you should definitely check out and see how I just did my kitchen because I'm so in love with it. Then they also are doing the gnomes, which this is why I love this store so much because gnomes are very hot and trendy right now. And the fact that Dollar Tree is putting these out for a dollar is just amazing because, you know, you can get these things for such a cheap price. But I also really like all of the colors and the fact that they also are sporting that black checkered look. And then I also love the black trim detail. Very nice. And then this one, I feel like it might be recycled from last year. I know they've done the spooky house bit, but I'd have to go back and look at my old set to see if they made some type of like minor update. But anyways, also if you're interested, I keep all of my Dollar Tree hauls up for years and years and years. So if you just like wanna watch hauls from 2020 or 2019, 2018, I mean way back to before 2015 on my channel, you definitely can. They're all in a playlist for you. But anyways, these also have like the black. Ooh, this one has orange. Also, if you're noticing that I switched out the wreaths on my bedroom, things right there, I did. I actually vlogged it. I just was feeling like the wreaths that I had before for my makeover, I don't know. They just were fighting too hard with the prints and it just was off for me. So I did switch them out. Um, anyways, pretty random. I also picked up the paper or party plates set as well. I was waiting for these also. I love these. I buy them every single year for every holiday and season that they put out. I just hauled some I think it was Monday's video for fall. So definitely go check that out in case you missed it because it is the best fall print I've ever seen. But here we have the spooky house again, which I love this. Something about just like the whimsical, spooky, Victorian looking house I just really like. And all of the details on this plate are just simply to be admired. Like the creepy black trees and the ghosts flying up and there's bats and there's stars. Just everything. There's even a black cat in the freaking window. Like I, I'm just here for this entire set. And I don't know if this is the matching napkin set or not. Comment down below and let me know. So either there's a third set, which I wouldn't be surprised if there's like four total sets, um, or this does go with the creepy house. I don't think it does. Dollar Tree does do like a direct match most of the time, but I don't know. Let me know if, if you know. Um, so I got those, you get 18 count in here and then you get 20 count in the napkins. And I found this set, Creep It Real, super cute. Love, just like the full, you know, there's not like an image per se other than the spider web being in the spider, but I really like that. And then I just assumed this is the match, right? Like I feel like this just looks like it goes together. So these would just be fun, you know, early morning breakfast with the family, you go pick up donuts or you make pancakes. Like, you know, it's just kind of fun to whip these out. So I got those. All right, also, um, 
I know you guys are probably, I don't know, let me know. Are you still wanting me to do the Halloween candy hauls? I feel like it's definitely a tradition for me to do them. I've been doing it for so many years, it's insane. It's probably my oldest tradition that I have on my channel um, that I'm gonna just show in this video. But I picked up some candy corn. I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna use this for like a display. And then they also make the pumpkin ones. I'm gonna do an overshot. I just think that this would look so cute just in a mason jar. Like that's it, plain and simple. And it would look so cute like in a tear tray or in a coffee bar. Um, so I did buy two bags of these so that I could put these into a mason jar. I'm like that's it, no big thrills, frills. If you wanted to, you could throw a ribbon around it, put it in the gift basket, drop it off at a neighbor or something. So I got those two bags. And they also make the mix bag with the combination of the pumpkins and the candy corn. So really cute. You know, you can put it in your entryway, have a little bowl of candy for your guests. So there's that. And then this I bought straight away, even though I'm trying not to get into the candy quite yet. But nerds have put out a candy corn version. What? I also found two Halloween books which kind of shook me a little bit because I don't remember Dollar Tree doing this last year. I'm really loving how they're paying more attention to their display. You know, they're bringing more things into like the Halloween section, like this being one of them. I just think it's a smart way to sell things like this, um, in my opinion. But anyways, I found these two. So this one is The House on Haunted Hill. And I'm just gonna flip through this illustration just show you guys what it looks like. Very nice. I got these for my niece, so I'm gonna read them to her. And then A Big Night in Booville. Oh, so what is this? The story of my life? But look at that. So cute. The illustration really is impressive. I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat this. I also picked up some of these loot bags and these were the three that I found. I really like the cats. There's that spooky house look again. You get how many? 20 loot bags in here. Very nice. And then here's this one with the animals all dressed up. That is absolutely adorable. Like, are you freaking kidding me? That's adorable. And then a candy corn one, which you know I just gushed over this. Now this white background that you see is just a sheet of paper. So it doesn't actually look like that. It's gonna be like a translucent or like a see translucent. It's gonna be like a see-through effect. Translucent, that's right too, right? In the next bag, and I'm wondering if I just filmed the clip before. Sometimes I think I turn the camera on and I'm not rolling at all. And then I don't find out until I go to editing. Devastating, but we're rolling now. Okay, anyways. So in this bag, I picked up some bandanas. I like this checkered one and then, then this red one. I actually did get these for my hair. So whenever I'm gonna throw like my hair up into like a ponytail, I'm just gonna basically, you know, tie this kind of like, you know, this style kind of thing. So I got those two. I just thought they were so fall-like. And then in a previous Halloween haul, I found these ghosts and I said, if I find more, I'm definitely picking them up. So I did. And all I needed were three more. At least I think three will be good. And all I'm gonna do is paint the base black and then paint the ghost white. And that's it. And I think they're gonna look so cute. You could definitely try to do a Ray Dunn dupe. If you're like really good with handwriting, you can kind of like mimic that font and you could like write something like boo or whatever and have yourself your own like Ray Dunn dupe kind of thing. Um, so you could definitely do a lot of things. You can even Mod Podge this and do like a scrapbook paper and do some prints on your ghost if you wanted to, but I am just gonna keep them ultra simple and just do white and then a black base. And I'm just gonna have them throughout the house for Halloween. So I finally found those. Last year, uh, let's see. Last year they did these folding lanterns. It's a really interesting like I feel like they're like little box houses, but lantern, same thing. And I don't know if they are the same 
like print or not this year they might be the same exact one they give you the led light in there and then it tells you how to like fold it and everything so it's super cute and then we have this little cat one i'm probably going to do an overshot of putting this together so you guys can actually see what it looks like you know not just in the packaging and then there is an orange one as well that says trick-or-treat with the spider which is really cute i feel like the black and purple one are my favorite for sure because i really am loving that spooky house i think it's probably like my favorite print this season from dollar tree other than the candy corn that i've seen so i found those also picked up some of these 10 buckets which you guys i can't stress enough how much i think this is amazing for a dollar they're so cute. There is going to be an upcoming video where I'm going to show you guys like how to do like cute little bucket gifts, you know, for your grandchildren, your children, niece, nephew, um, whatever, you know. So even like for your teacher, this would be adorable too. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already so that, you know, you see all of the videos. But I do have plans for you guys to see something with these two. And I honestly don't know which one is my favorite. I feel like I love both of these just equally. And I'm also loving the attention to detail on, you know, the handle with the color. It's just, it's perfect. A dollar, you know? All right, next up, these are more fall related and they've been around for a really long time and I'm glad they have because they're everything. I still have mine and they are the salt and pepper shakers with the owls and the little squirrels. Like what? So freaking cute. I love that these come back year after year. What I wish Dollar Tree would do is I wish they would do these for Halloween. They do them for Christmas. Um, I feel like not to dive in, but I feel like with Christmas, I need to see like an update to theirs because the fall ones are perfect. Like I love these, but I definitely need to see something for Halloween. I wish they would, but anyways, there's that. And then you guys know, I love a good window cling moment. I actually use these for like my planner and stuff. They like this one right here has really good stickiness. So you probably don't even need like glue stick or anything. They'll stick to paper pretty well. But it's so cute. Yeah, you could definitely craft with this, use it on like care packages and stuff like that, like to decorate your shipping box. Um, obviously you can use them as window clings, you know, fun for the kids to play. But that was the only one that I found. I feel like usually there's a jackpot of them, but that was the only one. Um, then I found the box. My Dollar Tree, you guys, they're just selling out so fast before I can even get there. I don't even know what's happening, but listen, Dollar Tree is amazing. So I guess I'm not surprised. And this is a really cute box set. I will link my Halloween care package down below. Go check it out because it was so cute. Send it to my daughter a couple years ago. And I used a box like this to like store things in. Um, I'm probably going to do the same thing this year for her. So... I need to get to working on her orange one, but then right after her orange one, I am gonna do a Halloween one for her again. These are brand new as well. They're fragrance oils, and they have a little fall theme. Like what? I'm wondering if there were more to the set, but this was all that I found. So we've got Harvest Cider and Pumpkin Chai. I don't know why my voice just sounded weird there, but that's pretty awesome. Love those. And then finally, I found the handmade cards. So not too long ago in a video, I showed you guys a bunch of um, just regular $1 cards from Dollar Tree, but they also do this version, which is like the handmade ones. And they're always separated in a different area than where the card aisle is. So these they put kind of like on an end cap, and then they also wrap them individually like this. Okay, so. That's what makes these so unique. And then here's what I found. Oh my gosh, I'm just dying. Like what? And then there's like texture and everything to this. So super amazing. This one is so beautiful. Love it. 
And then we have this one, which I love because I'm really digging the candy corn this year. And then we have the little animals. So cute that they're all dressed up too with like the little frame, kind of giving me friend vibes. The TV show Friends. And then we have this little skeleton, which by the looks of him, I think he moves. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, but it definitely looks like you can adjust his body position. It's really funny. Then we have Frankenstein. Like that. Here's that little creepy house. So this one's definitely a fave. And I love how simple they kept it too. Like there's no words or anything. Like I really, really like where... Ooh. I didn't realize that. I thought it had like a orange background, but no, it's the envelope. I need another one of these. Oh, I didn't realize I got dupes of that. And then we have this cutie. I love the big moon too and the yellow stars. Just that. And then the last one is this one. Happy Halloween. It's so chic. And the very last thing today are is a plate set. And let me tell you, as soon as I saw them, they just had them like with the plates and stuff. They did not have it with Halloween. But the moment I laid eyes on it, I said, Halloween vibes if I've ever seen one. So. Oh my God. I, I have no words. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do an overshot and show you guys what this would look like if you layered it with orange plates which Dollar Tree also does sell but let me just show you the up close detail oh my gosh this is absolutely amazing this is a dollar you guys I just I honestly have no words so if you're definitely wanting to try like tablescapes this year or you're already into that your thing I definitely think this is a must pick up it's giving me pottery barn vibes too for some reason so anyways this is definitely the most exciting find from dinnerware in a while so i'm very excited about it i only got two uh place settings because i just have like a small kitchen table you know it's just me sometimes my daughter's here when she's not in college so um so anyways such an amazing find also i thought i'd kind of get up and show you guys my sweater because you can't really see the whole thing but like look at this little ghost Look at the bats on my sleeves. Oh, so adorable. Thrift store. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my videos. Thank you so much for watching them. I love doing this for you guys. And I will see you tomorrow for another Dollar Tree haul. See you then. Bye.